Hey everybody, welcome back. G'day, g'day, g'day. And what you're looking at now is, um, I'm sure you've seen these on YouTube, um, guys putting together amplifiers using solid state point-to-point -point wiring. And I thought, hey, cool, I'm going to make one. Um, so uh, a little bit of a shopping spree on, um, on AliExpress and um, got myself some parts. Dirt cheap too. Um, <laughs> Anyway, let's cut in straight into what I've done, and there it is. Um, the link for this particular circuit is down below, and um, yeah, I just copied the guy, built it, and um, nice and easy, a uh, bit of fun, and um, put some music through it, and yeah, it worked. Um, wasn't as loud as I thought, um, sound quality wasn't as good as I thought it might have been, but acceptable, acceptable. And um, then um, I thought, well, what am I going to do with it now? And uh, I had the uh, brilliant idea, wait a minute, my signal tracer. Why don't I use this to amplify that? And so I grabbed my signal tracer, plugged it into it, and earthed out the, uh, the probe, and I could barely hear it um, with... Uh, the unit at full volume. So, um, still a little bit of a loss. And then, another idea. Why don't I get a pre-amplifier and, and pre-amp the signal? And there it is there, which is, um, I've used these lots of times when I was doing the MP3 mods. And um, it's just um, this um, pre-champ, pre-amplifier uh, from JCAR. Uh, what is it? 10, 11 bucks expensive I'm sure we can get cheaper ones uh, from China but anyway it does the job so I put that together and I put it into the circuit and BAM suddenly the uh, the volume went right up but anyway let me just show you what I have done with this and if you remember the um, my old audio generator the Tronson and um, yeah I'm not gonna fix that so I gutted the case and put everything in here. So using a, uh, a laptop uh, battery charger, um, an LG, um, 12 volt, 2 amps, um, little black box next to it. That's my um, signal um, tracer, uh, which turned out I had to replace the uh, germanium diode in it because I'd um, pretty much burned it out the last time I used it. And that's okay, not a problem. So I mounted it all up, uh, made one, not an error, but um, <laughs> I should have earthed out, I should have, um, I, I'm sorry, insulated the, um, the collector or the body of these um, transistors from the um, um, heatsink. But I couldn't be bothered going out to get um, more silicon um, isolation pads. And so all I did was, I just... Put a gift card there, epoxied that in, epoxied the uh, heat sink onto it. That's solid as a rock. It's not going anywhere. Mounted the um, preamp and all the wiring, which I've just done now. So it's pretty simple. Um, BNC plug. Take my probe. Volume control right there. Um, and the signal goes straight into... Uh, well, from the probe straight into the um, signal tracer. Signal tracer output goes into into the preamp and the output of the preamp through the amplifier and the speaker. So let me, um, here's our speaker, which I drilled some uh, holes, which turned out pretty good actually. Um, and uh, these are a four ohm I don't know, 35 watt speaker, I guess, yeah, whatever, um, from a car. Anyway, that'll do, that'll do. and um, some uh, connected plugs. So I'll just get this hooked up and we'll run some tests. Okay, here we go. So I'm just, my probe, just a, an old um, oscilloscope probe that I've got lying around. On off switch, so let's turn it on, turn my variac on. And, you know, that's what, roughly half volume, getting some static of course, full volume, 
that's great so let's turn that down again that's me just earthing it out so I've got my um, RF generator running and so um, let's just catch that and see that should do it of course well, it does but I just want to demonstrate it and that's as loud as that gets but that's acceptable and that will certainly pick up um, whatever's coming out of the radio get rid of that turn it down again and uh, I've got the audio generator hooked up as well so um, and that's running so let's listen to the audio through it that's already happening but That's loud as. Turn it off. Cool. That's it. And it's done. So I think um I think it's worthwhile just to, I thought it was worthwhile having to go. A bit of fun putting the um amp together. Um again, um not what I expected, but um I, I guess what can you expect? Um <laughs> from a simple little circle like that but it does work and uh, with the preamp in place um, it certainly is doing the job that I wanted to do so um, that's just um, just a bit of bit of fun bit of fluff for me uh, something to do and um, at least it works you know so now I've got a signal tracer that's all in one unit um, reuse the box and I guess one day I could make up a uh, another faceplate for this and make it look pretty and have logos on it and all sorts of stuff but for the time being nah it'll just sit on my bench i can get rid of that uh that old bantam there and put that in storage and um hopefully get to use this a lot more just a little bit more convenient the way it is anyway that's it guys just like i said like i said a little bit of fun and um it all works well so thanks for watching catch you soon bye